believe it or not, I'm actually green on this horrible ticker. Not a lot, just barely, but today the markets could have just been no worse, I feel like. Not pre pre-mark, we didn't get any action. Market open, we didn't get any action. It was just one of those total dead dud kind of days where you're better off sleeping through. And I already know my PL, so it's not gonna be a big suspense. Let me quickly show you guys. I'm down $710 today, which kind of sucks. Yeah, it is annoying. I would say I'm more annoyed at what I did today as opposed to the market and being down. You know, being up and down, it's kind of whatever. Sometimes I'm, you know, up a thousand plus and I'm actually pretty disappointed in myself. So it's not so much about being green or red sometimes in terms of how I feel personally, but let me talk about the horrible mistake I made today. And no matter what, I think today I would have been red because even if I take out DERM, which is the one I did the big mistake on, this, should, this trade just should have never happened, it still would have been a red day. There just wasn't opportunity today. So there just wasn't any real way for me to make um, some profitable trades unless I got super lucky and got stuck in some giant haul to the upside like with TKAT, which also ended before it really began. So unfortunately, today ends my nice green streak. It wasn't a record green streak. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the link here to go to my portfolio stats. But nonetheless, uh, ends my green streak and I gave back some profits on the week and which is a little disappointing because this week there wasn't that many opportunities to begin with. So I'm still green this week, but it's just like kind of one of those like one step forward, one step back kind of weeks. And hopefully tomorrow, which is usually like the bonus day where I don't really put so much focus on, we're going to get a little bit more action, but I don't know, maybe, maybe not. And the, a big reason for that as well is, um, Monday, the markets are closed. It's Martin Luther King day. So I don't expect too much happening on Friday either. Really, I think going forward next week on Tuesday is really when we're gonna get a little bit more action. So I don't know, if, if nothing pops up tomorrow, there's a good chance I'm just gonna close and, 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 and make a four day weekend out of it. But I'll definitely wake up early tomorrow, check the markets, but if we don't have like a 40% gapper, I'll probably call it fairly quickly. So yeah, this video, I wanna focus on the worst mistake a trader can make, which is what I did. This was a real mistake from my end, right? Sometimes you're trading a front side and you're trying to get that continuation or whatnot, and all all of a sudden the ticker um, dips 10% and you take a bigger loss, whatever. You know, that's not even really your fault. Sometimes you just get flashed on and that's it, right? You still should have probably took the trade because more times than not, it's a winning setup. Trading is not really about being right or wrong. It's just about managing your risk. And over time, you're profitable, right? We've proven that. Now with DERM, I just made a mistake that every trader once in a blue moon makes. And I'm happy I could at least share it with you guys. Trades like these are more reminders and reinforce your rules. Because I have like a, okay, I don't have like a bunch of rules, but I have like a handful of fundamental rules. Um, like don't trade tickers unless they're up over 40%. You know, trade the front side. Don't trade tickers that sold off too much. Don't trade the open after a ticker was very, very thickly traded pre-market. Very understandable rules because the more you do it and you break the rules, you realize, oh, that's why I made the rules. So today was a good reminder. And let's go to DERM right away and see how I went ahead and traded this ticker. Um, and here you can see on the daily. So on the daily, whatever, you know, uh, overall, uh, daily patterns haven't been so nice lately. Um, I don't really care so much about it as long as we still have good room to run. And ideally we're on a blue sky setup. I don't really mind trading daily backside patterns um, as long as we have that room to run. And this ticker had room to run till eight and look at that, it actually made it to eight. The problem was this ticker died before it really began. Let's check out the five minute and you'll see what I mean here. Look at that, just total obliviation. And also look at this, boop, 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 boop. It's only up around 40%, but it didn't really hold this 20% zone. I usually don't like trading tickers around 20% and that's what I did. So I broke a rule there alone. Let's quickly check the stats. Pharmaceutical, 17 million shares outstanding, 85 million market cap. Looks like there's some catalyst being pumped out. So the stats aren't bad on it, but the price action was really bad and I should have stayed far away from this ticker. So let me just show you guys what happened here. So first of all, this ticker had nowhere near the volume I was looking for. Usually I'm looking for a ticker in this area with at least 100, ideally 200,000 in one minute volume being traded. So I don't know why I traded this one with such low volume. Maybe because nothing really was popping yet and I thought this one was gonna be the one that starts climbing up higher, but it didn't prove to do that yet. If it did it, great, then I should start trading it. But I got into this one so prematurely, it had a pullback here and guess what? I even entered way, way, way too soon. If you check here on the five minute, I was getting long before this big supporter, like, uh, six six and ideally bigger support maybe at six dollars uh, flat. I'm already you know going in here long looking for that next retest of eight. 
um, which which is just not looking good. It, this ticker has not been able to hold its high so far at all. And if I entered at 6.5, okay, so be it. At least that's like an okay trade, but I entered this one too high. And then it sells off here and I go to close my position and I actually was able to close most of my position at a pretty okay spot. But then I actually forgot I still had some more size in this one and I ended up closing the last size at 5.49, which is like the, the worst spot to pretty much close it. Uh, just because I really wasn't paying attention and I my head was just not in the game and this this whole trade right here was a straight boredom trade It was just me like I was reading the news. I was doing a few things uh, And then I'm just constantly checking the tickers waiting for elite gapper and then finally this pops up But it's only up 20% with low volume and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, there's nothing else going on Let me try to trade this one like Every now and then I feel that thought coming up when I see tickers and this happens to me every single day and I'm like, oh no, I'm not going to trade this. Today I slipped up and actually ended up trading it and I made a mistake. So like I said, usually I'll just, I'll notice a ticker like this and I'll be like, okay, we see these all the time and then I just kind of move on and I don't pay attention to it unless, you know, we start uh, holding our highs with the first pullback holds well and we start trending up again. Um, then I start trading it once I notice there's volume and interest in that ticker. So as a Momo trader today, I was trading a ticker with no Momo. Momo equals momentum. So this ticker had no momentum and, and that was a big mistake. Luckily, I didn't, you know, revenge and hold on to this one and get all stubborn. I just kind of, you know, left. I was like, well, that was a silly mistake. I'm just going to, you know, go back to the markets and wait for something else. But really my mistake here was just, you know, taking a full boredom trade, breaking my rules, not waiting for good momentum and boom, instantly I got punished for it. So, you know, one of the classic things about day trading is when you make a mistake, you learn right away, you made a mistake. So I guess it was a nice little refreshing slap in the face of reality and, and also a good test into my rules and um, why I have them. So it's always a good reminder. One side bad thing to these kind of mistakes is sometimes it, it messes up your, your confidence a little bit. So you have to just remember, you know, this is, uh, this is, I realized what I did wrong here. Okay, bad ticker, let's move on. Because you don't want another ticker that actually ends up climbing, let's say BT, uh, DERM actually holds this, starts moving up here. I should I should be getting aggressive and trading these breakouts, right? I don't wanna have that thought in the back of my head, oh, last time I traded a ticker like this, you know, it didn't, it didn't have fall through and then miss the next good move. That happens uh, sometimes, so you really wanna be very self-aware of the thoughts that are going through your head and realize that last time you made a mistake and this time there's good volume volume and let me go for it. And if you make another red trade, it's totally fine as well. You know, not every trade is profitable. My winning ratio on the better months around 72%, but on average, my winning ratio is about 67%. That's a yearly average. And I'm pretty much always hovering around that zone. So pretty much a third of the time I'm wrong. And as a trader, you just have to pretty much accept that and, and um, manage your risk, right? Other than that, I'm not really surprised. The market's been pretty slow. Um, it is earning season right now for a lot of larger companies. And I already said this last week, you know, beware this week's gonna be probably very bumpy because of those earnings. It takes a lot of eyes off the small cap top gainers because people are so focused on the earnings coming out, which is totally understandable, but it's always been my least favorite times to trade because it's extremely bumpy. Let's really quickly fly through these other companies. It shouldn't take too long. Nothing really uh, major worth talking about. ISPC, I'm not even gonna go to the bigger chart. Let's just go to the day trading chart and so you guys see what I was uh, looking at. ISPC, also big uh, on backwards trend on the daily. Five minute looking pretty horrendous. Not really much you can do. The front side was over before it really began. And you can see I started trading the front side here looking for a break past 8.8, some continuation, but we didn't really get that. Um, on the daily, 8.8 is big time resistance. This is just, there's just so many resistance levels that this ticker would have had to constantly pop through um, some pretty heavy resistance. And I don't think today was really the day for it. I eventually try a little bit of a range trade here. It ends up being a ranging pullback that I you know lose some profits on. So that was a little frustrating, kind of an unnecessary loss on ISPC. With BBIG, uh, just a ticker that popped up really, really fast. I tried to do a trade on it. Um, it actually ended up working. I just didn't size up properly. Um, this was a nice little 5% pop here, big $3.3 uh, resistance. I called it out in the Discord, and I noticed that on the daily chart, you can see that big resistance right here. We've had uh, support in this zone, many resistance zones, um, retest, uh, failed breakout, and right now we're having another retest. So 3.3 was a very obvious resistance zone. I should have maybe edged into this one a little bit harder and try to squeeze out that trade, but I don't know. I think I was a little bit butthurt at this point. I couldn't really focus so much. And then BTCS, uh, this is the ticker I just, you know, constantly tried uh, for a move on, but somehow my flow on this ticker wasn't that great. On the daily chart, it, it, it was on a huge backside and it's had a huge bounce back to big resistance around eight, um, where we've had a bit of a triple top now at this point. Um, Pre-market opens around seven on TOS, so I was trying to trade this move here. 
I did a few good trades, um, but I missed this big spike and then I tried again and then it died off and then I was like, ugh, you know, just constant back and forth with BTCS. Uh, then I had my big loser on DERM, which was a bit demoralizing. And then here on this ticker, I tried a few times for the red to green move, made some money back. Um, but overall, this this was a tough ticker that um, I constantly had like the right idea, but I was always a little bit too early or took profits too quick. For example, on this uh, reversal here, we call it, we had a triple bottom. I called it out in the Discord too, and I tried to edge into it. Um, it popped up a little bit, and I quickly took some profits. It ended up being you know a huge runner. Um, I so I could have made more profits on this one. I, I don't know what it was today. Maybe I was just a little bit too tunnel vision. I was just not really focused. The markets really weren't doing anything I really liked. All this is really backside and range trading, which is already not my best strategy. I really make most of my money, like 80% of my income. Um, from day trading on front sides. So the market just wasn't giving me opportunities to make back my losses today. So it was just one of those days where I kind of had to bite the bullet and say, you know what, I, I messed up today. I traded a market that wasn't good. I traded tickers that weren't go good. And if I try to make back my losses right now on a bad market, most likely I'll just keep going further and further in the red. So I'm just gonna call it and uh, be happy that I'm still green on the uh, week. So yeah, I really think that's one of the worst mistakes a trader can make because it's a it's a mistake where you break all your rules. You're just bored and that's why you're trading and, um, and, that, and it's as simple as that. So you have rules for a reason, stick to them. There's nothing wrong with changing and updating your rules over long periods where you identify trends. Um, but today was just a blatant where I was just bored and I made a trade. I mean, even trades where I lose like $2,000 like that, um, and have a bigger loser, I don't even feel always that bad about if it was just like a huge flush. I'll be mad at the market, but I won't be mad at myself because I broke a rule or something. Sometimes you just have bad luck and that's also part of the game. Um, today, it was just, you know, silly me and going forward, the most important thing is just not dwell on it. You know, realize you made a mistake, check it off and move on and then be prepared for tomorrow, which I don't really know if it's gonna be that great. Maybe tomorrow's gonna be amazing. We're gonna get some random ticker that is absolutely amazing, but most likely, uh, it's going to be a little bit flat, so my expectations are low going into a three-day weekend. So if um, if I have any sort of frontside luck tomorrow, I think I'm going to call it very, very early. Otherwise, I guess we're going to be in the Discord and play some more games. I think Colby is really spearheading that one, so it's been good fun to see what everyone's been up to. Drop a comment below if you have a good idea for a community game. We're thinking something on a larger server so we can all play together, and you can kind of stop in whenever you want. I think that would be really the best, but we'll see. So if you have some good ideas, we've already thrown so many in the Discord. Leave some in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to drop a like on the way out. Consider subscribing if you're new. We'd love to have you part of the community. And like always, stay safe and make some awesome trades. Ciao, ciao.